Hey, I'm on my way to look at a property that we're doing some improvements on, and I wanna show you what I did and tell you uh, the reasoning behind it, and maybe some of this stuff will be helpful to you. So let's go take a look. Hey, this property was uh, almost 80 acres, demolished an old house and barn, and a lot of people say, man, why'd you tear it down? Well, because it was very unstable. It wasn't uh, something that could be uh, restored, and we're not in that business anyway, but it was something that just needed to go and let some new history start. This is a beautiful spot spot for a new home site but that old house and barn had to go i couldn't do it myself so i hired a guy that's done some work for us before he completely demoed the thing we used a dump truck and made um about 40 trips to a, a nearby landfill with all of the uh the debris and all the stuff that was inside the house and barn this was an expensive project and at the end i'll tell you what all of this cost and tell you how we justify it on a property like this so i sold off the the most southern tip of it to an adjoining landowner so we're down to 67 acres now the 67 acres is going to be down to four parcels an eight two sixes and a 47 this is the prettiest one but this one required the most work another thing we're doing is the open areas you can see a little bit back behind me here along the road uh, having all this mulched down so there's a lot of small trees and then just junk but a mulcher comes in here and chews this stuff up so quick so efficiently and so i'm able to create about a six acre home site right here all that'll be gone except for the smaller oak trees that I've asked them just to leave those down the road just a little bit is another piece just like this it's on the corner that's also it's already been cleared and so i've got three home site locations on the blacktop right here the eight acre uh, in the woods i've uh, already shown you this six acre piece right here in the middle and another six acre piece down at the end those are going to bring the best money home site tracks utilities blacktop road all good high ground the tearing down the house and the barn that required a dozer and a track hoe and a lot of loads with a dump truck but all of this right here was just simply a mulcher same guy same outfit he was able to come do it all what i'm doing here i'm putting a crossing in at the creek right there there's a big creek there that's the only way to get from this front part to the back 47 acres so this is the uh access road that i'm standing on when I have this surveyed, I'm going to survey this access road and create a separate legal description for it. And it'll be the dedicated form of access from the blacktop road up here to the 47 acres back there. But that creek was a booger, so I had to put two 36 inch pipes in it. They brought in several loads of dirt to uh, create the crossing on it. And then they'll put a couple loads of, of rock on it just to really nail it down and make it a good solid all weather crossing so that somebody will have this private road that they can get back to that 47 acres back there. Once they get across there, he's also gonna run the mulcher back on that 47 acres just to create a little road down the edge of the woods so that I can show people the property real easy. This access right here, I'm gonna reserve for utilities as well. So they'll be able to run electricity and a water line down this that was a main improvement to open up that 47 acres to be able to sell it for a home site as well hey down here you can see how clear that is that mulcher took all of that to the ground a decent home site spot right there with an additional four or five acres with it that piece right there will survey out between six and seven acres good road frontage be a neat little home site track for this rural part of the state but in a nutshell those are the improvements i made on this track now let's talk about what it costs and if it's worth it and then maybe just a couple little tips to help you learn what you can that may help you be able to improve a property divide it like this and make a little money i'll be honest with you this whole project uh, before the survey i've got to spend just a little bit on surveying out the smaller pieces but the big survey is done uh, when we bought the property i already had a new survey so i'm gonna get the same surveyor to come and carve out the smaller pieces of it and that won't be that much that's a good tip right there use the same same surveyor if you can because they already have all the data for the track and so all you all they're doing is then working with inside the data they already have saves a ton of hours which in turn saves a good bit of money but all the work that you you've seen done clearing this mulching those two pieces over there putting in that crossing the dirt the rock all the work all the trips to the dump right at 
22, 23,000 bucks. But when you divide that over 67 acres, that's about what, 350, 375 an acre? That made it doable. Cause I did the math in advance before I just pulled the trigger on a project like this. Now, had it just been six or seven acres, that kind of money would not have been worth it because you divide 23,000 over six or seven acres, oh, you're looking at a huge amount of increase. And the way I go about calculating, is that worth it? I take that amount of cash that I have to spend to do the improvements and ask myself this question. Can I get my money back twice? Meaning I got to recoup the 23, 24,000 bucks, but then I also want to make money on my money because that's what investing is. So I can't just do it and not make anything on it. That wouldn't be a wise use of my money. So that 22, $23,000 was money very well spent. It will take people to a different place in their mindset when they come look at it. They don't have to figure out how to clean it up and get rid of that house. It's gone. They don't have to figure out how to hire a mulcher to clear off that area over there. It's already done. It's easy work. Putting in a crossing is easy work. If you've done it, if you know how to do it, that's overwhelming to so many people. You have to sort of take the imagination out of the equation for them. You can't go, hey, this is what you could do, or this is what it could look like. You need to take that out of the equation and go, here's what it is. Here's already ready to go. And having the improvements done so people can actually see what they're buying, not just imagine what they're buying. There is a big difference. And those of you that have sold property before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna easily recoup my money, probably gonna sell it a little quicker because I've already done these improvements. Easy on the eye for somebody. Couple of tips, make sure your math is good. Don't just do it to be doing it. Do it to make money, do it to make it sell easier and faster. Number two, use the same surveyor if you can, like I'm doing on this track. Have all the interior lot carved out by the same surveyor who roped off the whole 80 acres when we bought it. Number three, find a good guy like I got on this project. He's a one-stop shop. He had all the equipment, it's got all the contacts for the, the rock, the dirt, the dump trucks, all of that. So I didn't have to hire five or six people. I hired him, he's able to get it all done. Stay on top of the job because this is the kind of job that can get out of hand in a hurry. Every day that he's here running that equipment is a bunch of money. So I kind of stayed on top of the job. This is my fourth or fifth trip over here. I know what he's been doing. I see the progress. I know that things are on track, but at some point I also said, hey, let's decide not to do this and that. Kind of cutting back on the scope of the project because when you keep an eye on it, you realize, hey, a few things really don't need to be done because I'm getting into the point of just spending money without getting any return or benefit for it. So the thing to do, find a good piece of property that will divide good frontage, available utilities in a desirable area, and think about the improvements that will either add value or make it easier and quicker to sell. There's some more of our videos right there on this same subject. Check them out.